I don't, I don't recommend you do it in a suit and shoes. All right. Um, this is a great opportunity for Rochester. When I think about this this place, there's so much going on in this area uh, that we're doing. The city of Rochester is doing. I thank the mayor, uh, the Department of Recreation, uh, DES, all of the workers and the employees of the city of Rochester that helped make this possible today, and MVP uh, for doing this. This is what I think about this. I think of convenience, number one. I think of technology, and I think of the cost of it being free. And that's something with the rising cost of health care as well as for physical fitness. If you join a gym, you'll know it's very expensive to, to be a part of, of something like that or to have a personal trainer. So to have technology involved, the convenience of it, as well as the ability to do it for free, uh, I think is extremely uh, amazing for our citizens. Uh, and I'm glad to be a part of this. I'm glad to uh, have tried it myself. I will be back with sneakers and uh, shorts <laughs> to give it another try. But I think we all should be excited about this and I look forward to having many more of these in our community. And thank you and thank you MVP and City of Rochester. But I'll just reiterate again that, uh, you know, activating public spaces in a way that reflects what the community needs today, that helps community members live a longer tomorrow, is what we're here for. It's what our mission is. Um, it's in full alignment with what our, our partnership is with MVP in this effort. But I want to just one more time reiterate that this project uh, came with a lot of public input, community participation, on um, what's important. And we've put all of that to work. And while it has been uh, a year since National Fitness Campaign reached out to the city of Rochester from being impressed with what the city is, had announced around Rock the Riverway, we gained the attention of a national movement to activate public spaces by talking about rocking the Riverway. And this is a result of that. And more so than anything, um, it, you know, just putting out there that along with the community, along with our partners, we are one team. We often thank um, city departments individually, but this is a, a demonstration of a, of a team effort and what team looks like. And so all, there's a many people standing back here that I want to acknowledge who, who jumped a lot of hurdles and uh, you know, crossed a lot of barriers to, to make this happen for today and to make this happen here for this community. And I do want to acknowledge them. So thank you all, uh, Commissioner Jones. Um, John Picone and many members of our team um, who worked tirelessly to make this happen. And again, my, my final thanks to MVP uh, when National Fitness Campaign called us a year ago and said, Rochester, are you interested? Uh, picked up the phone and called MVP and uh, they were, you know, full steam ahead ever since to, to make this come to fruition and have invested heavily in how this will be programmed for the community. So not only will it be accessible uh, for community members to work out in a public space for free, but also to get the right support in doing it correctly. I've seen a lot of you doing it wrong this morning. <laughs> um, so please take advantage of the fitness ambassadors and the app, which has videos that tells you how to do it um, safely and not in your dress shoes. Uh, Mr. Lightfoot. So again, I thank everyone for all of your hard work. This has been a labor of love. We've worked on this for over a year to come to this moment. Um, and we're so proud that it is here today. And I hope you enjoy every moment of this day, which will be full of uh, fitness and fun. And we ordered up the sun just right for it. So thank you again. <laughs>